Good morning, TNT. Welcome. A cup of joe and a slice of Cheryl this morning. Every Saturday morning, we start things off and we're doing it a little differently this morning because we are spicing you up thanks to the folks at Caribbean Flavors. Mm -hmm. A range of spices and much more than spices, if you ask me. Yes, yes. Um, that we are going to be whipping up a couple of wonderful dishes over the next two few weeks here on the show. We are spicing it up, we are spicing you up, and that's how we do. Yes. Chef Cheryl and Short Charles, now known as Chef Cheryl SC. Check out on Instagram. <laughs> <laughs> Chef Cheryl F S C is now on Instagram. I try not to you try. You have to move with the time. You have to move with the time. You have to move with the time. So, you know, I try not to lose something. I laugh at him, but I was real proud of you at the same time. I know. <laughs> Chef Cheryl SC is here with us, guys. Thanks for joining us this morning. We are getting things started. Brand new segment for you on the show this morning. Mm -hmm. And Chef Cheryl is whipping up a dish using the range of Caribbean flavors, yes. spices. What are you doing this morning, Cheryl? Now, Caribbean flavors have this curry in a hurry paste. Curry? In a hurry paste. That's the name of the paste? Yes, that's the name of the paste. <laughs> that is the name of the paste. Mm -hmm. Curry in a hurry paste. paste. So it's a curry paste? Yes, it is a curry paste. Woo! Nice. Now, I can understand why they name it that, because it has turmeric, it have curry powder, it have aniseed, it have coriander, it have chive, garlic, all the ingredients that you would normally put in your curry right. is in one bottle. And the nice thing also about it is that it already has salt added to it. So for me, I, I will say you just need one, two, three, four ingredients. And you could get a curry. And you, you get a quick curry. You bubble a curry. You in. bubble a curry, and people think that you burn that curry. Yeah. You cook down that the garlic curry. Garlic and the, mm, mm. and you kusume it and you. Right. This is curry exactly. in a curry piece. Right. My Caribbean flavor. Yes. Okay. So I already have some chicken pieces here. You need Pass this. me back my curry. Yes, sorry. Curry. curry in a hurry. Right. And what I did is just take some of the piece. But it smells. It smells it exactly smells, like that. Like, yes. like curry has been because sauteing in a pot for some time. Right. Right, and mix it in. As you notice, there's no seasoning whatsoever inside of it. Woo! And the, uh, just by that, Chef, the yes. smell of that mm -hmm. alone. All the spices, mm -hmm. all the spices in there. Right, so we're just going to put a little oil in our pot. Right. Now, I still did, you know, yeah. chop up a little garlic. A little garlic, you know, because just you, are a little bit. you are Chef Cheryl, yeah, I yeah. see. Mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you would need your fresh garlic in there. Right. Don't burn the garlic now. No, 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 no. not at all. It's <laughs> not. It's not. Um, Joel. Wow. Right, and we put. Right, and that's it with this one. Now the thing about it is, I'm going to do it two ways for you. We're going to curry it as normal, like this. Now I let that kusume a little bit. <laughs> Notice no water or anything is in there no, right. just yet. No, okay. Now what I also did is I took the same piece, I took some chicken breast, and I put it on the chicken breast just like that to marinate it. And I'm going to just pan sear it just like that. A little oil again. So you could use this space however you want to use it. Right, right? see? So that's like a whole chicken breast that you can pan sear. Pan sear. Yeah. Inside of it. Pan sear, fry it up a little bit. So we have our curry going here. And then what I'm going to do is use the Caribbean flavors, coconut milk. Caribbean flavors, they have coconut milk yes, as well. Yes, they have a coconut milk powder. Right. Now, I'll tell you, you see how thick this is? And that isn't even the whole pack of the coconut the milk. milk. Right? So it's a good it's quality, good quality good coconut quality. powder. I wish somebody could come up with smell of vision. Yes. But we so, they need to smell what we are smelling here. Right. Yeah, yeah. And we leave this here. Now what I did is I deboned the chicken. Right. I deboned the breast and I deboned the leg and thigh. Right? So it's going to cook very fast. 
Now, the nice thing about it as well is, as I said before, we didn't put any liquid inside of there. It was just the paste and the chicken into the, the pot and some coconut milk. And I want to show you here, Joel, how it thickens up already. Whoa. And no water. No water. I That's just coconut any. milk. Yeah. Right? And you're smelling the curry on this chicken here as well. Because what's going to happen is when you pan sear it, it's going to seal in all that all spices the, oh my goodness. Oh my that goodness. you smell in there. Right? Oh so we're going to have that cooking. However, don't fear that it's not going to cook in time for you. I did some here by the side. Chef Cheryl SC. Right. So <laughs> while that's cooking on this side, we'll heat. Now what I also did, is I made some basmati rice. That Again, just goes perfect with curry, doesn't it? Yes. Basmati rice and curry. What is it? Well, why, why? It's a the perfect combination. Perfect combination. Perfect combination. Yeah. The lightness and the sweetness of the rice of the itself. Rice. Mm -hmm. But what I did is I didn't boil it in plain water. I took some of the coconut powder, added it to the water. Also, Caribbean flavors had some very nice, strong cinnamon sticks. So I took one of these cinnamon sticks and also put it inside of there and then put the rice in so and let that just steam down. So this is coconut cinnamon basmati rice. Basmati rice. You can't get any better than that. How are you, how are you doing? The show now started and this is what you, you started with? Yeah, yeah no. Oh so my goodness. We have this rice here. Heating up our curry. So this is the same curry mix that we have that cooking over there. here. Right. That was already finished. Alright. I'm just gonna spoon some in there for you. The and power of plating. Power of plating. Power of plating. You know. Oh my goodness. Looks good. Smells good. Tastes good. And can you imagine the flavor that that rice as well in there? So we're gonna check out chicken breast just now. You wanna taste? Please, please, please. Should I? Please, please. I, know I told you we're gonna diet. You know. <laughs> when the season finished. When, when the season, season finished. Finish. Okay, finish. okay. And right, you know, so you know, I have a curry yours. mouth. You know. You know I have a curry mouth. Oh Here's my goodness. So guys, as simple as it, what you saw there, mm -hmm. um, you can try this at home because these recipes that we are doing, because you see the folks at Caribbean Flavors, we make it possible for you to try it step by step on trinicooks.com. Check yep. out the website and get the recipe. Chef Cheryl drops the recipes, all her recipes on trinicooks.com. And you can make this delightful Curry, curry in a hurry. Curry piece. Piece by Caribbean flavors with basmati right. rice. Right, and then we have our chicken breast here. Which we nicely slice. Sure, but sure. you can't have two of them, eh? I can't? No, you have to share. Sure, sure. Yes. How is it? Close the show. Close the show? Yeah, because. Uh, after this, you can't do a whole you show. Can't no, 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 no. You can't talk. You can't talk. So when I finish this, I'm going on. You plate in a second. Yes, with our chicken breast. So chicken two ways. Two ways. Two ways. Two ways. I need to take a little bit of the sauce here. You can't. What do you mean? You can't do it one way, right? So you can do it however you choose to do it. You come home on an afternoon, you want to, you're feeling for some curry, and you want something quick, because here what, you didn't have any chicken season up, the chicken was thawing out in the fridge, right? Could you get it on now? Good to go. This but has been, Chef, before, 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 because this is, this is serious. 
Yes. If, if it is that you're intimidated, and, and some folks are truly intimidated mm -hmm. by, by bubbling a curry. Not, yes. Yeah, yes. I mean... Mm -hmm. That's true. Yeah, That's it's true. Not, I mean, if you don't know what you're doing in a it, curry, you could, it could go horribly wrong. Oh, yes, it can. It can. Hurry, curry in a hurry, please. Gives you authentic tasting curry. Yes. Quick. Quick. And as I was just saying, you can have the meat already thawed out in the fridge. You know, you do, may not have all the seasonings that you want to spice it up. It's all in there. It's all in here. Nothing. And I didn't put any salt, anything else inside of that. Wow. This is real Trini curry, yeah? Yes, it is. Real Trini curry. Get a recipe at trinicooks.com. We want to thank the folks at Caribbean Flavors for making it possible. Chef Cheryl will be here uh, whipping up some of these fantastic recipes using the wide range of products uh, um, at Caribbean Flavors. Um, yeah, and we're going to spice things up for you right here on A Cup of Joe. A slice of Cheryl, a cup of Joe. We're taking a short break. Here's a little more inside what's coming up on the show this morning. Yeah.